Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Mania Beetle 01 here with a quick video. Um, I just wanted to show off a mail day today. Um, first of all, uh, this, these, these are basically all trades, with the exception of the Yankee Autos. They were part of my baseball group. Um, so since I mentioned those first, I'll show those off. These are two autos I needed for the 2002 Yankee Signature Series. This is Jerry Lumpy, uh, third baseman for the Yankees, former third baseman, and Sparky Lyle. Uh, former reliever from the 70s, former Cy Young Award winner with the Yankees. Okay. Um, Top Parisi's Young Gun, Top Gun rather, from um, this year's Upper Deck Series 1. Season highlights, Martin Brodeur. Uh, this, car, this, this particular card is when he tied uh, Patrick Waugh's record up in Montreal. And some of the Hockey Heroes inserts. Uh, these are two that I needed for that set. And the face of the franchise, which I believe I needed also. Okay. Um, these are from some trades. Uh, all Mark McGuire game used. I'm uh, Mark McGuire, I'm sorry, Mark Teixeira. Um, McGuire has been on TV all day. I actually finished watching his admission, or quote-unquote admission, just to using steroids. Uh, a lot of holes in there. I fully didn't believe half the stuff he said. I think there's going to be a lot more to come of this. You know, um, he, he basically said he never doesn't remember what he put in his body. He didn't take it for performance enhancing. I don't believe any of that. Um, I do believe that he did take it for injuries. That I believe. Um, I also believe the fact that, con that two members of Congress grabbed him before he went on the stand and um, pretty much said that, you know, don't talk about this right now. I be and that's why he didn't say it. I believe that. But also the timing of this is all fishy, you know, um, and plus the fact that a lot of his explanations were fishy. If you haven't seen it yet, go on MLB Network. Um, if you have the TV channel, they're, showing, they're probably going to be showing the interview that he just did with Bob Costas for the rest of the night and make your own conclusions. Um, I like, I've always, I, I used to like McGuire. Um, I just have a hard time believing half the stuff he says, man. And that's sad in this day and age. Um, when I grew up back in the early, the late 70s, early 80s, man, baseball players were idolized. They, these guys were kings. These guys were pretty much, you believed what they said. You did what they did. They were role models. It's unfortunate nowadays that our kids really don't have any of these guys to be role models anymore, with the exceptions of maybe a Derek Jeter, Cal Ripken when he played. Albert Pujols, and I'm crossing my fingers that Pujols will never be suspected of steroids, because if he is suspected of steroids, then that's it for baseball. Anyway, back to my video. Um, another Teixeira game use. And yet another Teixeira game used. And this one is supposedly a patch, a patch card. doesn't look like a patch to me. That looks more like a piece of the jersey. Um, okay, get a better look at it right here. And if it's a patch, I wonder what part of the jersey it would be a patch of from Texas. And this is from 2009. Unique. Number to 75. I don't think you can see it there. That's the best, I guess, you could see it from here. But there you go. So that brings, like, and oh, sorry, a couple of base cards that I needed for the to share collection. And that's it. Um, gonna get ready to settle down and watch the raw. Uh, see where if um, they'll be taking Bret Hart's uh, storyline into another week. Um, and um, also, I'm very happy that my Jets made it to the next round of the playoffs. I actually do believe that they're going to beat San Diego. Um, I just think that the Jets have a better defense than people are giving them credit for. I mean, I don't understand how you can have the number one defense, the number one rush, the number one defense against the rush, um, and be seven and a half point favorites, or underdogs rather, against a team that doesn't run the ball really. They're just throwers. And I'm not too much, I don't think too highly of Sprawls. I think Sprawls is good, but he's not what LaDamian Tomlinson was that team before, and LaDamian Tomlinson is, frankly, on his way down. Um, I think the Jets have a better defense if Sanchez doesn't turn the ball over, if 
Sanchez can keep the rock and make the plays he's supposed to make like he did last week, then I think the Jets are going to win this game and go to the AFC Championship game. And if they beat San Diego, I really don't think they're going to lose the AFC Championship game. At least that's why I'm crossing my fingers. been a Jet fan for so long. I've been disappointed by this franchise many, many times before. I'm trying not to believe too much into it. But um, we'll see what happens in this next, within the next week. If they beat, win this game, then it's going to be hard for me not to start really, really believing that this team could make a Super Bowl and possibly win the Super Bowl. So, anyway, uh, that's the video for today. I uh, hope you guys have a good night. Take care. Uh, subscribe, comment. We'd love to hear what you, your thoughts on it. Thanks a lot. Take care.